Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Dude Sue. <laughs> Couldn't say it then. <laughs> Welcome to any new subscribers. Welcome back to any returning subscribers. I hope you're all doing okay and that um, you're having a good weekend. Today it's the 31st of October, so it's Halloween, All Hallows Eve. Um, and we're not doing anything Halloween related, <laughs> I can tell you. Um, I'm probably hoping for not too many knockers on the door. Um, anyway, I've come on today to do another episode of the Marguerite Miller's 52 Week Collage Challenge. And we're on week 45 now. I, I don't want to kind of go too far ahead. Um, because 45 means we've only got seven weeks left until the end of the year. So... Which is a bit scary, I think, anyway. So last time we did um, hashtag CW plan number 44, that was 43. So today we're doing 45. And I've already roughly prepared the paper because this is a, an A5 white lined paper um, notepad I've had for years. So that's what I've been doing all of mine in. Anyway... Week 45, so hashtag CW Planner 45. The five prompts are a piece of jewellery, text using a different alphabet, a symbol of heraldry, plaid, something that slides, and the bonus is lined paper. So today I'm swapping the bonus for something that slides because I haven't got anything that I could think of and I don't want to go onto Google and have to print something off the internet. I just don't. I don't know, I just, I like to try and find something in my stash. Um, I couldn't find anything. So I'm going to use lined paper and take out the something that slides. Just reminded me I haven't picked out a piece of jewellery. Um, so just bear with me. I've got a very old um, jewellery book. Um, it's black and white, but... I bought it. Uh, it was on sale in the library oh, a few years ago, actually, and um, I just like the look of it. So I'm just going to find it. Now I've said that, it's probably in my cupboard. So just bear with me a moment. Okay, here it is. So this book, they often, in the library, they will sell old books like this. It's well worth, if you if you belong to a library, well worth going along. Because this was, I bought it, I, did, I bought it in the village library in the village next door to where I live, which is Haddenham, um, next door to my village, Stone. And this is a West Hearts College book library book and it's the history of jewellery and I just I, I wasn't even crafting then wasn't doing any YouTube channels but I just I just I don't know I just picked it up maybe I had a premonition that I would be doing it but anyway it's got lots of um, black and white images of beautiful jewellery um, through the ages so um, we will have a look at that there's the Queen Her Majesty all her beautiful jewels. Anyway, we'll have a look in here uh, near when we get to that stage and decide what piece of jewellery we might decide we'd like to have on here. Look at all these. There's plenty to choose from. So I'll put that to one side for a moment. Okay, so that's going to be where we're going to get the piece of jewellery from. So the other items I found are, I'm wrestling with some of them, <laughs> right, oh, it's a bit disorganised you are today Susan, right, okay, so that, we're going to find a piece of jewellery soon when we get to it, um, I've been looking through my, my old virtue diary, dictionary, 
and that has a page about um, alphabets of foreign languages and this is actually all about uh, different alphabets here um, so I'm going to use that actually on the back it has the alphabet for the deaf the manual signing for the deaf so we have a choice depends on what size we want to use so we've got that and then a symbol of heraldry when in the same dictionary I'm very lucky it has some lovely coloured plates and this is all about coats of arms and symbols of heraldry so you've got the um, rampant lion you've got the crown fleur-de-lis which are those feathers um, eagles um, you've got um, shields helmets those are all signs um, symbols of heraldry and then you've got your um, different things like scrolls here and the different um, oh, what do they call those those are kind of like a um, some of these are full coats of arms which have got lots of heraldry symbols in but underneath you've got the scrolls that bear the motto for that particular coat of arms um so that's another symbol um you've got you know your supporters that are there that's another heraldic symbol um so then you've got all the different types of crosses so a cross is a her heraldic symbol um yes so um and there's an eagle there there's an eagle in that coat of arms there um so you've got the wreath and hand holding a branch so many different types of symbols of heraldry so we'll we'll use that so i'm using a substitute which is lined paper and this is a piece of out of this scrapbook um that i've got it's a scrap of it actually so um so it's out of the heritage stack a 180 one-sided pad so i'm actually going to use that in the background i think i think that would be nice and what else have we got so we're not using something that slides we are going to use something plaid. Now, the only plaid I have are plaid ribbons. So I've got this very pretty um, purple, shades of purple with silver running through it, which is plaid. And I've also got this, which is quite appropriate for Christmas. And it has got wire on the side, gold wiring. We can cut that off. But that's kind of a more traditional um, red and green and black plaid in fact i used to go to my senior school was called john f kennedy um school in hemel hempstead hertfordshire and i had to wear a mary rose a margaret rose tartan kilt and that was part of the the girls uniform um and that was um very similar coloring but a bit more green than this so we will use a piece of one of those so not sure how this is going to look really to be honest so i'm going to put this down in the background although this is lined it's white and i don't really want to cover the whole page today so i think what we'll do is we will just tear down that edge because the other three edges are all torn and that hasn't been so it looks a bit odd to me so i'll we'll just make that look the same and I'm going to use my distress oxide vintage photo and I'm just going to distress around the edges because there's a lot of white fibre there so I hope you've all had a good week um, we've um, put our clocks back today so spring is an hour forward fall or, or autumn as it's called is um, an hour back so um, it seems like I've had a long day today I don't know why but uh, it's quite nice actually 
So I'm going to put that down in the background so we'll get some glue out. I'm using my Cosmic Shimmer today, which I haven't used for a long time actually. And um, as it's decided it's clogged up. Um, well, but I've run out of my art glitter glue. So I thought, oh, well, I'll get this out and start using this and then maybe order some later on. There's a lot lot of things to buy at this time of year. I've got my husband's birthday next week. So um having to sort of well we've made a decision about a limit because it's my birthday the week after on the eleventh. His is the third and mine is the eleventh. So we're both Scorpios, but we do get on very well. <laughs> we don't clash. Um, yeah, so um, he said to me, what, what should we do? Should we just make the decision to kind of limit what we're spending? And of course, we've got Christmas coming as well. We thought that was a good idea. When you get to our ages, you know, there's not a lot you want except crafting things, of course. <laughs> right, so that's down as the background. So now we want symbol of heraldry. Um, okay, so these images are not that big. So I think I may just use a portion of this page. Um, we'll use the the bottom half I think um, because that's got all the symbols on it these are more coats of arms so it's you know what they look like made up of all these symbols so we'll just take that bit off at the bottom and just a bit here and that's one side Give this an ink round now. Yes, yeah, so it can be quite an expensive time of year. I'm keeping the tabs. This is where you know you had the alphabet, the A, B, C's, and D's down the side. I like that. So we've got that we can put on. We may have to take them off actually, we will, because it's too wide. Okay might keep that, it's quite interesting that piece. Okay, so we've got that. We don't know where we're going to put that yet. Next, we want our text using a different alphabet. I think actually I'm going to use the, alpha, the manual alphabet for the deaf. I quite like that and it's easy to see at a glance. Put that over there. I don't like taking all the edges off of this lovely age dictionary because it's got a lovely sort of patina on, on it. So I'm going to leave that there. So we've got those two pieces. All right. Then we want, um, so we've got a lined paper, our alphabet, our heraldry symbols. We want a plaid. So maybe we'll use the red and the green. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this wire. I don't want to ruin my material scissors because... So I hope you can see me. Am I in shot? I think I am. It's gone very dark and gloomy. We've had absolute lashing rain all day today and it's windy and wild so it's very appropriate weather for Halloween I think although not for the children that are probably coming out and about this evening okay so putting the out the um, clocks back means that tomorrow morning for work it's going to be 
very 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 dark I should imagine and so I quite like that in the middle there like so it's quite nice could do with an iron really because it's a bit wrinkly this ribbon where it's been rolled up but that I quite like it won't stay still <laughs> Okay, so that, that's quite nice. Right, so all we need now is our piece of jewellery. So we'll just put that over there for a second. Let's see. These are all going to be black and white. And I'm just looking now for something, you know, that stands out. Um, all these beautiful diamonds and pearls and all the different stones I mean that is a topaz you can't tell because it's black and white look at those stones and I've got some statues there I'm just looking for all the plates so I've obviously taken something out of there in the past unfortunately that beautiful emerald pearl and diamond lattice necklace is now half missing but um that's beautiful that bracelet mm. since lockdown i know we've come out of it now but i i, I used to wear lots of jewelry i haven't really bothered i haven't got back into the swing of it either since we've come out of lockdown so that's showing you microscopic views of some of these stones, I guess, showing you how to determine whether something is real or not. And then we've got Queen Mary Wendy, wearing um, beautiful, huge gems there. Look at those. Ah, oh, look at this crown. Now, I could have used these crowns and that eagle. For our um, heraldry, heraldry symbol, but we won't because um, I like the colour of those pages. So I'm now trying to establish all these different varieties of um, diamond there. There's a lovely little heart shaped diamond ring there, that's pretty. That could be a possibility because I don't want anything too big. Let's see what else is there. Bracelets, pendants, primitive jewellery by that's Algerian. These are Indian. Absolutely beautiful. And these are too. Hmm. So we don't want anything too massive. Let's just see if there's anything. Nope. So, I think we will look for that little ring, wherever that was here. Um, we'll cut that out, I think. that now piece of jewelry it said so i mustn't get carried away and put more than one on so let's have a look let's see so it's gonna it's gonna be a very very odd page i think this is and i'm wondering let's uh, cut this out around that just helps to define it because it's black and white so that's pretty so that's quite nice there maybe and perhaps we could let me 
think maybe we'll cut this into a piece so that we've got maybe we'll have this in the middle let's just move these a minute there's lots of fibers so if we had that around about here and I had this kind of up here up there and then maybe we have this piece something like that doesn't want to stay and our our ring it's going to look very odd isn't it I might cut another piece off I think we have one up here and then we'll mirror it down here so there's a bit of balance there and then still have this bit possibly in the middle like so hmm. I think that's it I don't think I could do much more with this maybe have that on the top so I think that's going to be it really right okay let's get this down so these are some of these turn out to be very quick I, I feel so it's quite nice to have a quick one so I'm just going to I'm not going to put the Beacon 3-in-1 on the fabric, which is the ribbon. I'm just going to put a little bit down there, like so. Let's see if we can get this one down in, in the middle here somewhere, sort of roughly there. Stop that curling over. Okay, then we want to put this down here. So I do want some of the lined paper to show. Now I'm going to use this. Cosmic Shimmer I'm going to put this down like so okay and then we're going to our manual alphabet down for the deaf I have an ink round that I don't think so it doesn't need much on the bottom it's got its own patina so we have that kind of here Maybe just to that side like that. Oh, wrong glue. Let's put the lid on that for a minute. Okay. So you can still see our lined paper. Okay, and we wanted this 
Among the years somewhere. Okay. And lastly, our lovely ring, which hope I'm in shot so now I want some of the lined paper to show as I say so I think this ring can go here not quite to the edge I don't want it stuck right on the edge okay a tiny bit more there okay so it's very unusual looking isn't it and I have cut out another sheet out of the heritage stack a page of all higgledy piggledy different numbers so I've cut these out and I just neat, neaten them up a bit. I'm not going to take that green surround off because otherwise they're going to get lost on the page. I'm quite sad that this is soon coming to an end. I had an email from Marguerite Miller. Well, I'm sure it wasn't her personally. Obviously her team, if she has one, offering me a discount on a collage, Christmas collage book challenge sort of thing. So I've got that coming. Not quite sure what that entails yet. So... Um, anyway, we'll see. I'll show it to you when it comes. So, we've got the 45 here. And I don't know if I want it there or maybe here. No, I don't like it. Maybe here, like so. Then to me that doesn't look like 45, so I think my original idea was probably best. Now that's going to blend into the background, so I think I'm going to put that on a piece of this dictionary page. Got some braille here. This is what braille means, all the dots. That's quite fascinating, isn't it? So let's have a piece of this. And let's see, I want those on there. Somewhere like this. It's actually the Lord's Prayer in Braille. It's fascinating. I find it fascinating. So I'm going to see if that is going to look um, too big, <laughs> of course, too big. I wanted a bit of it showing, so maybe we'll go for it like this. 
and they have that well to frame I think I have a habit of doing that forgetting so maybe we'll we'll just have that there so I don't really think I want it there so that does show the lined paper nicely but I know it's too much here for me it doesn't for me it doesn't kind of work out if I have it up there like that I think that's better so uh, I'm going to stick that down and we'll kind of rub it a bit up like that On that mm, could hear the notebook cracking a bit then <laughs> it um it's getting a bit bulky now so I think I'll have the other one like that then find my trusty pen and I think I'm going to write here hashtag CW planner forty five. Let's pin the glue. Right, okay, I'm just going to ink around that page a little bit. Right, okay, so let's recap. So we have, we've chosen four of the prompts and the bonus and left one of the prompts out. So we have piece of jewellery here. We have a little diamond ring. Well, I'm sure that's quite a big diamond ring. And um, we have text using a different alphabet. So we have the manual alphabet for the deaf, which is an, um, hand signs, you know, the signing. We have a symbol of heraldry. So we have a page here with all different symbols of heraldry. And I've left the... Um, key on so that you you know you can tell what that's what it's there for we have plaid ribbon here here and here we don't have something that slides we've missed that out today and then we have lined paper which is in the background here here and here and that's it for today so um let me just find something cover that side up and and there we have it that is hashtag CW Planner 45. Hope you enjoyed that. Short and sweet. And I'll see you for the next episode. Take care, everyone.